all of them are, are viable. It just depends on what I'm trying to do at the time, whether I want detail or very loose sketching. Um, when I hold it like that, you see, it's mostly I'm able to just use my hand and turn. But when I turn it the other way, I can use my whole wrist. So back and forth, back and forth, you got two different ways of holding the pencil. And um, you can see the looseness on how I'm using my whole wrist and how I just easily sketch that oval out. Now what I just did is I, I'm dividing it in half. I'm showing you the measurements that, that easily make up a face. So from the top of that oval to the bottom of that oval, I cut that oval right in half. And that's where the eye eyes should go. And then from the eyes to the chin area, I cut that in half, and that's where the nose should go. And then from that nose line down to the chin area, I cut that in half, and that's where the mouth should go. And then you see I gave the face a left side and a right side by uh, doing a vertical line down the center. Now, I didn't draw eyes in. I just put some ovals where the eyes would be. And... Uh, as I said, there are some measurements that you can use that can help you put things in proper perspective. So since I've got an eye line, a nose line, and a mouth line laid out, all I'm doing now is just kind of uh, penciling in, you know, just, just like a general nose and some general lips so that I can start to see this face shape up. Um, I'm, I'm still just in really uh, sketchy mode and your ears, when you're looking at a face straight on, are going to be about as tall as uh, from the eye line to the nose line, as you see I've done there, one on each side. Um, and so now I'm going to just sketch in a cheek line. The, you know, most people's cheeks are not just the oval that you first draw. draw. They've actually got uh, cheeks or, you know, or, or uh, cheekbones, and, and you're going to want to show those if that person you're drawing actually has them. Uh, now, just going to pencil in some uh, pupils, and I'm being very sketchy because uh, I still want to make sure I got it right. If I was actually looking at somebody's face, now I would look and see how do these measurements uh, measure up that I'm uh, that you're seeing me do now. The inside of the eye line, if you draw it straight down, that usually shows you how wide the nose should be. The middle of the eye, as you see me drawing straight down, uh, shows you about how wide the lips should be. Uh, those are just more measurements to help you be more accurate when you draw. Okay, now, I switched my, um, the way I hold my pencil goes. Now I'm going to try to be more detailed and actually take that oval where, I, where the eye is supposed to be and make it look more like an eye. And you would have to look at the individual's eye that you're drawing to, to get it to be the shape of theirs. Everyone's different. And since I'm making this up, I'm just giving you a general shape of what an eye kind of looks like. Um, all, all of this is being sketched from memory just to show you how easy it is to really draw a face. Now, if you had a picture in front of you or a person in front of you, you'd have to make those eyes look like that, that person's eyes or their nose or mouth look like theirs. You'd have to use the uh, measurements that fit them because those these general measurements are not like absolutely um, perfect for everyone. They're different. They're just general measurements that's going to help you to lay things out. Well, I'm just putting in a, a a general hairline. It's probably going to change later on, but just kind of penciling some things in uh, so that I can start to see this uh, face shape up. And you always want to be thinking through what you're doing. So I'm just trying to put in some of those details that, that makes up an ear. And you see I'm kind of moving around. I don't want to take one area and build it up to where it's finished and then other areas I haven't even started yet. So I'll lightly pencil in the eyes and now I'm, I'm remembering that uh, your, your eye sockets... Um, have shadows and highlights, so I'm just kind of drawing those eye sockets in there so you can see where shadows might lay. And again, it might be different from the person or the picture you're drawing based on how the lighting is. So I'm, I'm just making up just some, some general 
uh, shadings here just to kind of show you how you can um, use your knowledge of, of an eye actually being in a socket and you can kind of draw that and kind of imagine what the shadowing and shading might look like. You see, I just drew that circle on the chin there. There's usually a, um, a highlight shining there from, from the light shining on it. And so you can just kind of put those generalities in there. There's another one up there by the, uh, um, by where I'm drawing right now, up there on the forehead. You see, I just drew that circle there. Uh, I drew that circle lightly to let me know that that's where I wanted to be light at. So I'll, now I'll shade in around that. It'll be easier for you, you know, to actually have a real person or a picture in front of you because then you'll know exactly where those highlights and shadows are. I'm just putting them in general uh, where they where they are um, often. And this is a completely made up person, but you're you're getting a, a general idea of how to draw a face, you know, any face just from this. A few quick, easy details. Just notice that I'm still in sketch mode. I'm not really trying to be uh, detailed or serious about this drawing at all. I'm just kind of quickly sketching in. And this is a good way for you to warm up also, is to just do your sketching like this very fast. Just, just, just go ahead and be deliberate about it. And don't try to be too perfect or get everything exactly right. You, you just want to have these sessions where you're just having fun and you're just loosely sketching. It really helps you in the long run to, um, to, to do good sketches that lead to really good drawings, you know, finished pieces of artwork. So you want to be here in sketch mode. You don't want to draw that, that chicken scratch where you're just doing it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. And, you know, to try to make an oval when you can just go ahead and use that technique I showed you where you put your whole wrist into it and just go ahead and just do the oval. Look at how I'm shading in the, the hair there. I'm just, I'm just doing it. I'm not trying to be perfect. I don't care if the lines are exactly right. Just, it's just a quick sketch. It's just, just giving me an idea of, uh, of what it might look like. And it's, and it's shaping up okay. You know, I'm not trying to be realistic. I'm not trying to be perfect at it. You should do these kind of little quick sketches, sketching exercises often. They really, they really help you uh, grow in your ability to draw. So the recap did the oval, and then the eye line went in, in the middle of the oval, and then I took from there, cut it in half, and did the nose, and then from the nose to the chin, cut it in half and did the mouth, then I gave a left side and a right side to that face, if you remember. And then remember there were some uh, measurements from the inside of the eye. It shows you how wide the nose usually is. From the middle of the eye, a straight line down, shows you about how wide the lips usually are. Again, those things change depend on, on the individual. I, sh I showed you where the, how you can... Um, use your knowledge of that uh, that eye socket to help you get all of those shadows and highlights around that eye right and then shading just in the general areas where they usually are uh, shaded those in for you and you see I'm still shading as I see different areas where there might need to be more shading and all of that's just from memory and from me drawing so many faces <laughs> 